Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be doing a water test of the LG G5. This is the latest flashy phone from LG. It has a major design change compared to the last year models. Uh, modular design with uh, uh, semi-premium material, you can say. And uh, what else? Yeah, uh, I really wanted to do this. And uh, let's see here. So I do have stopwatch. And of course, it is not a waterproof phone. Uh, so I'm actually risking it. And uh, and yeah, do not try this at home. So I'm just gonna start the timer and put this phone in for for let's say two minutes. Okay, two minutes will be enough to test its uh, uh, water capabilities or you know if it's gonna survive f for that long. And uh, and we're gonna be checking out the speaker quality after that and camera and even the fingerprint sensor. Okay, so let's see. Let's start the timer. Go. Alright guys, so 1 minute 45 seconds, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 56, 7, 8, 9, and we're done. Alright, so 2 minutes of uh, water tub bath, I'm just gonna lock this phone, wipe this with my towel or something like that okay here we go just gonna wipe it clearly and let's take a look at the phone okay so looking very clean now and you can see the always on thing uh, if I do this I can't really feel any water drops coming out let's see here from the 3.5 mm headphone jack yeah I can see a little bit a little bit drops coming out but you can see impressive stuff that the phone is working absolutely fine. Let's see, volume rocker. Okay, there you go, speaker. It's, it's not working the way it was working before doing the water test. Um, so let's see here if I can go into the settings and check out the sound and notification, ringtone. All right. Yeah, let me just blow it up a little bit. Wow, uh, I mean, I gotta say, it's not that bad, actually. I mean, of course, uh, th this this is something that happens with even waterproof phones, you know. Uh, but I can feel like the 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 volume or the sound is getting better, you know. You can see here. Wow. Now it feels like it's clear. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so I did this a little bit. And I also uh, blow it up a little bit, you know, like this, and now it's good to go. Alrighty, right, and you can see camera's looking great. So I'm just gonna record a video. Okay, testing one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Okay, seven second video. Um, let's see here. Okay, let's hear it again. One, two, three, one, two, three. 
Yeah, it definitely feels uh, not clear, you know, it's not perfect, uh, but uh, yeah, it's not that bad. Uh, yeah, it definitely feels like the water is still maybe inside a little bit, so uh, I can give this phone a little bit of rest uh, and, uh, you know, uh, but it did really well. The water test, I think two minutes are good for a water, uh, non waterproof phone. Also take a quick sneak peek at the inside of this phone. So of course, just gonna remove this module thing. And uh, you can see that, whoa, we do have some water here. Uh, this is a sensitive part, okay? Uh, you know, I, I know this thing is actually really sensitive because my Note 4, it got destroyed once. But you can see here, uh, if we remove the battery, this is the hollow part you can say display so if I do this a little bit so I can't feel any drops coming out so yeah basically this part is absolutely safe so we do have some chips and other stuff inside you know camera sensors and everything very important part and of course fingerprint sensor is also there but yeah it feels really clean I mean just the normal drops nothing too uh, wet hair so I'm just gonna put this thing back and uh, and try to boot this phone up because uh, normally it is not recommended to you know power off your phone once you have done something crazy like a water test so I'm just gonna insert the battery back in and let's try to boot this phone up alright so here we go LG life's good alright guys so we are back in I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit of a demonstration of fingerprint reader or fingerprint sensor to see if uh, you know it's working fine or not so I'm just gonna lower down the brightness a little bit okay so here we go and you can see so far it's reading my finger without any problem we're done okay let's lock the phone and unlock and you can see it's working fine no problem there Look at that. So yeah, fingerprint sensor is also working absolutely fine. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching it. And I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Please subscribe and uh, yeah, peace out.